Okay, so we'll start to introduce you to generics for those that do not know generics already. Uh, we're not a startup. We are over 25 years old and we achieve a turnover of 63 million euros yearly, uh, mostly based on two activities. The first one is uh, what we still call EDI and uh, well, collaboration between uh, uh, companies and collaboration based on exchange uh, between uh, information systems in the companies. And the other side is uh, supply chain execution, where we provide uh, warehouse management system, transport management systems, and solution for uh, execute the flow and deliver the customer at the end. Um, I will um, show you, as you can understand that, I will take the, this topic, uh, even if we mention logist urban logistic, um, we face on a daily basis that logistic is a global thing, okay? especially because we're working for this kind of companies. And uh, to supply the goods, most of the time, our customer uh, needs to provide uh, overseas flows. And then, well, this is the first mile. And the last mile also is quite important because uh, the last mile is the one, especially if you provide e-commerce solution, um, uh, the one where the customer, you, the logistic will meet, will meet directly the customer, the final customer. So today, these kind of companies that provide omni-channel solution to sell more, uh, they ask us all the time for having the correct solution to deliver all the steps of the supply chain. And obviously, they will not be able to do it by themselves and they will need to um, find help uh, and to buy help uh, with many providers, 3PLs, carriers, um, co-manufacturers, and so on. Okay. So here is the supply chain. This is a small one. Uh, the the well, we see we we have the seas over there. Um, you see the factories, the plant on the on your left hand side, and then the what we could say a valley village or a city center uh, on the other side. And um, we are here like the uh, manager of the flows of a company who has to deal with taking into account all the steps between all this uh, um, point of, uh, well, point where the goods will be handled from one truck to another or from a truck to maybe a bicycle or something. Okay. Uh, what's important uh, is to understand the challenges of today's supply chain. The first one is that this supply chain is global, which means probably you will have to exchange with your partners at any time, any day, in any languages. So we can understand here that uh, uh, we have to talk the same language. Uh, I'm not talking about the same language like English, but really informatic and um, information system language has to be similar and the systems has to communicate and to be able to understand the data that are, that are exchanged, especially when this is global. Um, the second one is uh, uh, that the, today uh, um, supply chain is hardly, hardly predictable. It means that you need to deliver pretty quick. Uh, somebody talked about Amazon, that, ex uh, that um, due to Amazon, we think that delivering is for free, but this is for free, and also you have to deliver in a very short lead time that we didn't have to face before, uh, delivering directly the final customer. So um, it's important to understand that it is not predictable, the volumes are not predictable, and this means that companies still have to um, uh, benefit from very big means in order to be able to react. Okay, And here again, they won't be able to react by themselves. They will need data and they will also need to connect their partners on the supply, supply chain being able to react uh, at the same moment. Um, so my point here is uh, that uh, obviously nobody will win this war by himself. You, we really have to build some communities and to facilitate the community building of uh, supply chain actors. 
and here APIs, but any any solution that facilitates the exchange of data and the collaboration on processes, because exchanging data is pretty useful for visibility. But the second step is to, based on visibility, to benefit from alerts and be able to collaborate with the partner to take the correct decision in order to um, have the less impact on the consumer of any uh, any things occurring on the supply chain. So this is how I uh, present the way we will try. Well, we try at Generics, but not only at Generics, also with most of our customer. Um, we know that one of the key pain points, even in EDI, in standard EDI, is the rollout. You can uh, start with investing in a system with APIs or EDI translators or XML capabilities or whatever, or system that, that you are using, which are very well open. But there is no use here as long as your partner do not come on the platform you are using or do not read your API documentation in order to try to exchange with your solution. So the only way to start to, to fasten the rollout, because fasten the rollout is the only possibility to collect enough data to improve this visibility and this ability to steer the supply chain. So you, we will have to find um, maybe more operational ways to um, make it interesting for the partners of the ecosystem. So we can. Take the example here, a famous one, which is the truck tracking information. Why do a carrier will be interested in sending his data to your company, except if uh, you you put it in the contract? But why why would it why would this carrier be interested in doing it? He will have to invest on something, an IT solution to connect with you. And uh, it's all the customer will ask for the same result, but going through uh, another system. So from the point of a carrier, it is just impossible or very difficult to find today's solution to uh, develop collaboration and tracking with any of its customers. Okay, So probably um, it will find an interest in doing this effort if we can find solutions that are dedicated to carriers like tracking platform dedicated to carriers and the same platform will collaborate with tracking platform dedicated to shippers because they will not have the same usage of the tracking basic tracking data like telematics data gps locally location but both of them has various usage and if this platform focus on delivering a value to the target segment, that the, the most important segment, market segment, like if I work for shippers, I will not work for carriers, then we will be able to focus on creating value for them and the data will only be uh, um, a way to produce the value. The data will have twice the value the, the basic data will have the value for the carrier because he has to handle and to manage uh, uh, the, 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 his footprint, for example. And the same data has value for the shipper because he needs to inform its customer that it's going to be late, for example. So the, if the same data has two or several usages, probably we will have to pay several times for the same data. And this is where platform should have to collaborate, but not only it's not only a technical use issue, it's only a, an issue of organizing the things in order that the value, the one that provides the first, at the first moment, the, the, the data can benefit from all the value added to this data. Okay, so this is uh, this is challenging because, as we we saw before, we mentioned before, uh, data is the only way to improve the supply chain um, uh, steering, and this is how we will be able to reduce the events that are impacting the customer satisfaction. But so far, we don't have benefit from enough data to run this 
analytics models. The first thing we can do is to collect the execution data and then react the most uh, uh, quick that we can and react with collaboration with partners. Another way to present the API interest uh, and this collaborative platform for supply chain is to be back uh, um, some years forward, backwards um, and just be back on what is the, uh, collabor the first collaboration tool or internal collaboration tools like ERP and the, then ERP connected with uh, execution uh, systems for supply chain like WMS, TMS, and then this give the visibility of the, well, these are the services, uh, so supply chain services of a company like uh, the plant, uh, like uh, the customer services, transport services, and they they are, have a good visibility of what's occurring inside the company. So today, what we have to achieve is to give the same ser these services inside the company the visibility to um, uh, to connect them to the, give them the visibility of what's happening at their partner side. So this is based on API, but not only on API. Also, because all the day long, these services has to handle business processes like chartering, like. Uh, uh, invoicing, like uh, tracking data, like uh, checking if stock is available at a 3PL warehouse or anything. And then it's not only a, a, um, a topic of data, but also a topic of processes that has to be run all together on the, on the same platform and on the same tool, okay, like shattering, for example. So this is a focus in order to illustrate what could be APIs inside this uh, uh, target of uh, uh, improving supply chain execution through collaboration in the supply chain. On the, the left-hand side, we see that the first thing is to collect uh, planification data, scheduling data, okay, like uh, when should I uh, launch this wave of picking in a warehouse um, uh, and Another example is uh, when do I think uh, the supplier will deliver a hub in order uh, I will be able to take the product out of the truck and build another truckload to deliver the customer. So many execution uh, system has planification data because they are here to schedule the things. And based on this data, the scheduling data, the target here is to collect the real execution data in order to compare if um, what the what is occurring or what is not occurring um, is aligned with what was scheduled. Okay, and if it is not, then we provide the, this kind of platform provide an alert in order somebody can take the alert in account and within if possible, this thing, the, the platform also will exchange with the partner issuing the alert in order to find a solution. Most of the time, the customer, um, B2B customer, also should have an access and, and uh, in order to participate to the uh, solution uh, identification also, especially in supply chain. So this is it. Thank you. Can I have, yeah, awesome. Uh, we have time for one question. You, and also, if you are, just don't forget, if you raise your hand to, if you are thirsty, like people will bring you uh, water, uh, right? Not questions, right? No, so I, I may have a question for you, Isabel. Uh, so, as I said, you're not a startup anymore, right? Uh, how, how, let's say, the word APIs, the ideas of APIs and implementation of APIs has been implemented, right? Or is being implemented? Is it more cultural or a technical discussion that you have today at Generix uh, when you talk about APIs? Well, for years at Generix, we, we, half of our business is uh, to help the companies exchange data. So we obviously follow the trends 
And today the trend is API. So today we provide for all of our execution system uh, an API library. And there is no um, discussion around it. We have to be uh, on the top of uh, the new technologies for exchanging data. We work a lot with XML, with any, uh, any format, any facilities. So, so because you have the culture, it's obvious. This is what you say? The uh, culture of exchanging not only data. the culture, this is what we sell. Yeah. Okay. Every day, so we have to sell the the correct solution uh, and, uh, based and on new technologies. And do companies, when you say, "Oh, now it's everything is API powered, it's great," what is their reaction they today? Um, well, in our position, we we take API like one of the solution in the portfolio because we are still um, big companies using standard EDIs, for example, uh, to exchange orders and dispatch advice and electronic invoicing. And we cannot hope for coming here and telling, okay, forget everything. Uh, we, we will start everything with API. We will use API where it makes sense. We will use another kind of uh, system to exchange data where it will make sense. But we, what, what we focus on is uh, help our customer to um, execute a quick rollout of their exchanges because this is a target. API, EDI, it's only there to help collecting data, exchange data. But the target of getting the data is to run better the execution uh, processes every day. So the most you are connected, the quicker you connect your partner, the better your execution process will, will, will go. So I get it. I any, get it. any system to facilitate this target is uh, welcome. Okay, thank you very much, Isabel. Thank you.